This is a contact. And they come in these little packets that look like these. And then these packets, well, they come in a box. And if you've got a different prescription, they come in two boxes. And this can cause a big mess. A very big mess. So I decided to search for a solution. So I looked on the internet for some contact lens dispensers and found this. $49. Yes. It's a bit expensive. And then I found this one for $62. This was outrageous. And I realized that I could 3D model my own. So that's what I did. First off, I started modeling a prototype. Now, I was planning on actually time-lapsing me modeling it, but I forgot to hit record and I didn't end up getting any footage. So here's a guy modeling a tire instead. I just found this video on the internet and I thought it looked pretty cool. So I decided to add it in. So yeah. After modeling, it was time to get printing. And just, I didn't record the printing process either. All right, so here is the prototype. And as you can see, it's just a drawer and a, I don't know what you call this, container. So what happens is you put the drawer in and put the contacts in. Now these the contacts were very finicky, are very finicky. So they're just in like that. And then you pull out the drawer and a contact comes out. And you push it back in and they'll all fall down. So another one should be, oh, this one's upside down. Oh. And you can just keep dispensing them. So yeah, this prototype was to help me to find all the errors in like the actual dispensing mechanism that I could improve upon. And yeah, that's pretty much it for it. It was mostly good. Obviously I need to make some improvements to the design. It's only one. And I have two pres different prescriptions, so. I'm going to need another one right next to it. So yeah. After creating the prototype, it was time to model the actual contact lens dispenser now. And I forgot to record again. Don't blame me, I wasn't expecting to make a video out of it. But I did end up recording some of the printing. So you can enjoy these time lapses. Alright, so here we have all the parts for the contact lens dispenser. Now, I was going to record myself taking the supports off and putting the magnets in. So you can see there's magnets there. Uh, but it was just taking way too long and the magnets were a pain to put in. Uh, because I left no clearance. As you can see, there's no clearance between the part and the magnet. Which means I had to really push them in really hard. Anyway... So, I'll go over each piece. So, here we have the drawer. Uh, it's pretty similar to the one before, the prototype. You know, I didn't make much of a change. I just added basically a one next to it. And yeah, it just holds the contacts in. And they get dispensed like that. So, next off we have the... I don't know, the main part of it, the actual holder. So the contacts get loaded in the top and the drawer will be sitting at the bottom, ready to get put in. So it will just sit there and then they get pulled out 
and you can take your contact. And yeah. So this is where I got up to in the prototype. This is what I thought the main product would look like. And I noticed that there was a lot of there was a lot of unused area back here. So I decided to make it hollow and you know, it can be used for more storage, you know, with contacts and stuff. Like spare contacts. So yeah. And then I have the lid. So this is just a regular lid. It has magnets on. So it can just be put on the top. And yeah. I decided not to put a magnet on the front. So then you can just lift it up easily. And yeah. And then I had I had the lid and everything. And then I decided to add this. So this is just a part that sits on top like that and it's more storage so you can just put all your contacts into it so here I have a bunch of contacts and it can just sit on top and the lid can go on top of that and yeah so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to load up all of the contacts into the dispenser and I'll show you how it works Now this contact lens dispenser can fit 10 on each side, so that's 10 days worth of contacts. Um, it probably could have been improved to more, I just didn't make it tall enough. Alright, so we got the contact lens dispenser fully loaded up, and I'm just going to put the lid on it. And boom, here we are. So now all you have to do is pull out the drawer and you have two contacts ready for wearing. Then once you're done with that, you put the drawer back in and then the next day rolls around and you need more contacts, you just pull out the drawer and you've got two more. So yeah, I really like this design and the drawer can get stuck sometimes, so you just have to push it in and pull it out. There are obviously some faults with the design, like the contacts do like to slide forward a bit, as you can see. They all fall forward. And I don't really know how to fix this. Uh, I did try a little bit of experimenting, but it hasn't posed too much of a problem so far. You just kind of have to push them back up so yeah that's pretty much it we got the contact lens dispenser I'm just gonna put all the contacts back in now what's really cool about this contact lens dispenser is that it's modular meaning that I can just decide to have just the lid on top and just rock the the basic one or I can choose to have the container on and then the lid and I could put as many of these containers as I wanted on top because I've got the magnets all placed in the same positions and yeah which also means I can add on more stuff to this in the future so I could put something in between here and I would like to know your suggestions in the comments because I'm planning on making a few more attachments for this. Like, I do want a a place to put your glasses when you're wearing the contacts. So maybe down the side and I put... I'm not sure yet. But I do want to add some more stuff to this contact lens dispenser. And I think it could be a really fun modular project to do. Yeah, so leave your comments down below, and I will maybe pick some of them. Uh, that's it. Sorry about the lack of footage. It was originally a school assignment, and I decided to make it into a video last second.
Anyway, subscribe. We're so close to 100 subscribers. I think we're only 14 away at this point. If you enjoyed this, check out another one of my videos. See ya.